Welcome back to our catechism class. Hope you have read the lesson number 3 from the textbook. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for all the blessings that you have given me. I surrender all to your mighty hands. Lord Jesus, help us to lead a holy life like yours. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and enlighten me with true wisdom and knowledge. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. but deliver us from evil amen lesson 3 sacraments channels of divine life have you seen the canals through which water is brought from the rivers or big ponds to the areas of cultivation the water that flows through the canals water the plants they grow and bear fruits even we human beings also need water for our life so we all know that the water is very essential for our bodily life similarly we need some kind of nourishment for our spiritual life to grow in faith and to do our ministries that god gives us Jesus promised this nourishment. This is what Jesus refers to as a life-giving water in the video that you are about to see. Time ago, when Jesus was traveling towards Galilee, his followers and he stopped <coughs> in the town of Samaria. While Jesus rested near a well on the side of the road, his followers went to the market to get some food. A Samaritan woman came to the well to draw some water. Jesus was thirsty, so he asked her for a drink. The Samaritan woman was confused, as Jews were normally not fond of Samaritans, and it was strange that a Jew would ask a Samaritan for water. Very curious, she asked Jesus why he would ask her for water, though she was a Samaritan. Jesus replied, "If you knew who I was, You would ask me for a drink. The water which you will give me will only fulfill my thirst, but the water which I would give you would give you eternal life. Divine life or grace is the life-giving water that Jesus promised. This grace makes us heirs to eternal life through the church. divine life how do we get this divine life sacraments are the channels that bring us divine life where do we get this divine life from jesus is the source of the divine life so divine life flows from jesus the source through the sacraments to us What are sacraments? Sacraments are the visible symbols instituted by Jesus and administered by the church that purify and empower us by giving us the invisible divine life. The Syriac word for sacraments is kudasha. It means sanctifying act. So sacraments sanctify us by forgiving our sins and giving us divine life. many sacraments are there there are seven sacraments baptism anointing holy kurbana reconciliation anointing of the sick holy orders and matrimony from these baptism anointing holy kurbana are called the sacraments of initiation it's through these sacraments that a person enters into relationship with Jesus 
and the life of the church. At each stage of a person's life, Jesus gives us grace to grow in divine life and to carry out several ministries in the church through the sacraments. We must receive the sacraments with due preparation and reverence to grow in grace. Activity for this week Read and write in your Catechism Notebook John chapter 4 verses 13 to 14 and write the seven sacraments in your notebook. God bless you and see you next week.